Hi, I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. I don't know how I did it, but I managed to stay awake through the entire primetime presidential news lecture. <laughs> Although not all the reporters were able to. Ann Compton. Hey, Ann. Um, you sound surprised. I am surprised. <laughs> Maybe Ann was texting her friend down the hall who was falling asleep in Joe Biden's organic chemistry class. The New York Times even suggested the president was maybe too intellectual, which is kind of like saying somebody is too pretty. It's not a compliment. According to the wild-eyed liberal mainstream media dictionary, too intellectual, the popular phrase to use when a reporter falls asleep during the lecture but knows something really brilliant must have happened because it was his favorite professor speaking. You know, I never took a lot of notes in college. Yep, I was that kind of student. Could I, uh, could I borrow your notes? Sure. Thanks. Oh. Instead, I always looked for the line that summed it all up, that captured the heart of it. Here it is. A budget that leads to broad economic growth by moving from an era of borrow and spend to one where we save and invest. All right, class, anyone who believes government ever saves money, please stand up and raise your hand. Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? According to the Congressional Budget Office, while Obama did indeed inherit, am I the only one who's tired of him telling us over and over again how he inherited whatever problem he happens to be asked about? I mean, come on, you inherited the Oval Office. You inherited Air Force One. You inherited the power to move American Idol to Wednesday night. Where was I? Oh yeah, Obama did indeed inherit a $400 billion deficit from last year, but if $400 billion is bad, wouldn't $1.8 trillion, that's $1,800 billion for this year, be worse? Because that's what the Congressional Budget Office tells us that Obama's budget would give us. And he can't say this is a deficit he inherited. So his idea of investing is to take money that your children and grandchildren won't be earning until decades from now and waste it on mismanaged government bailouts today. Does that sound too intellectual to you? Bueller? <laughs>